I was mad for some reason. It's because I was used to run and do stuff, so now I was stuck in front of that computer for 10 hours a day. They thought it was just because I was a teenager now. And I was like arguing with my mom. Guy's just a teenager, he's trying to be mad. I was 15, I was mad. In traffic and everything, you know, I was just mad. As soon as I start training, I got back to myself, you know, so I realized, oh my God, I need to do something. Jiu-Jitsu teach, teach me everything. Uh, it's crazy because I came from a very poor background and eventually I was somewhere in Dubai teaching a chic, you know. So Jiu-Jitsu teach me that as soon as you put your gi on, everybody's the same, everybody's... Uh, there's no color, there's no money involved, and you're just there to learn about yourself, you know, to, to learn about you and your goals and your struggles and People are there to help you. Even though they're not there for, like to help you, they end up helping you. And you understand that you need people to be better in life, you know? So it's a great tool to improve yourself as a person. So my first instructor gave me a gi, and I'll have to, how do, how do I say when, you, when it's ripped? When it's so, ripped, I'll have to sew my gi every single day. So I will sleep around 12.30, already to wake up at five. So I'll basically go to school and sleep at the school, you know. Usually I wake up hungry. If I wake up hungry, I'm gonna be thinking about food. Most of the times I think about my dreams and my goals and what I have to do today to get what I wanna get, you know. I think that's the main thing. Like I'm always looking forward to, for my tasks, you know, and doing my things. But I also usually thinking about food. So yeah, putting the right nutrients in my body makes me excited too, you know? A lot of people think fighters only fight, which is true, we fight too, but we fight against ourselves the most. That's the hardest part, you know? Like now I'm losing weight for a tournament, I'm losing 20 pounds. You just gotta be yourself and understand who you are and who you're trying to become. So that way you can set up small goals, small tasks, and eventually get there. And if you get there, you're gonna feel so awesome that you're gonna learn more discipline. Comfort zone? I don't think I live there. The comfort zone would be accept what you have as something good enough. So I try to avoid it as much as I can. I try to conquer and accomplish way more than I have, you know. Jiu-Jitsu is not only about the techniques, it's about everything. Because sometimes you watch something online or during the match, you cannot fully understand because there are a lot of stuff going on. So a lot of stuff that you can see, you cannot feel. I and mean, if you cannot feel, you don't know what's going on. It's hard to study Jiu-Jitsu by watching some stuff that you don't know how strong it is, how hard it is. So. I, I think you should know everything, regardless if that's your game or not. You know, because a lot of people learn only what, what's gonna fit on their game. But sometimes you learn something today here, and you're gonna use in five years. And one day it's gonna make sense for you, you're gonna be mature enough to, oh my God, that thing I learned five years ago is working right now. You know, so you don't lose what you learn or even if you don't use it, you can one day teach somebody and help somebody with that thing. So it's good to know 
and you have unlimited space on your brain you know you're not gonna run out of space just like on your phone or your camera or whatever so you can learn as much as you can in life and still be fine What is future? Future is tomorrow. Future can be tomorrow. Future, future can be tonight. And future can be 10 years or 20 years. So what do you mean about future? I like the way I live now. I like planting good seeds, you know, and making my environment better. Tô na Califórnia em Irvine, né? É, amanhã eu luto pan-americano, tô magro, cara, perdi 8 quilos pra esse campeonato. Oh my god, I had a lot, I had so many. I try to fail as much as I can because every failure is gonna give you an equivalent benefit. So if you believe in that and you keep your eyes open, every bad moment is gonna give you or drive you to a good, just as good as it was bad moment. So I believe, I don't believe in failures to be honest. I believe that you still have to learn something about something and if you're not there you get in there so bad moments are made for this for you to grow for you to get stronger for you to get smarter and to try again to see how bad you want it so when i train jiu-jitsu i feel in a lot of ways i can meditate you know of course it depends where i am where i'm at on the season and who i'm training with but if it's a person that I feel good about training, where there is no stress about winning when I'm training, I can kind of forget about everything, if that makes sense, and just relax, relieve myself, and be me, you know? So if you train Jiu-Jitsu, kind of like meditate and forget about everything. So there is no tomorrow, there is no yesterday, you live in the present. And I think that's where you wanna be at least once a day, you know, in a stress day where you gotta work, you gotta do a lot of stuff. If you can just relax and be yourself while you're exercising, that's great, you know. So you even forget about being tired sometimes, you know, you just focus on breathing and everything. Yeah, I look forward every day to do that, you know, specific thing where I can just relieve and breathe and focus on what I have to focus on. After practice, you feel more relaxed. Of course, you feel hungry sometimes, most of the times, but you're always relaxed and in peace with yourself, you know, and there's no better feeling than that. Um, yeah, that's how I feel after practice, you know, especially if I go through a very hard training session, I'm gonna feel so peaceful, you know, like the silence, it's, the silence is gonna be unbelievable in my mind. So I'm just relaxing, living the moment, you know. I don't think Jiu-Jitsu needs anybody. I don't think Jiu-Jitsu needs me. I don't think Jiu-Jitsu needs you. I think Jiu-Jitsu is a great product where people take it and they get the benefits from it. And I cannot tell you exactly what's gonna be the benefit that you're gonna get from training Jiu-Jitsu because everybody's different. Everybody's going through different struggles and everything in life, but 100%, like 1000%, Jiu-Jitsu is going to help you to go through 
all those struggles and failures and everything you have in mind now. And if you wanna just get fit, lose weight, you're gonna get the benefits from it. If you wanna compete, you're gonna have a lot of fun doing it. So it depends on what your goals and what you like and what you really need. I think this just is for everybody, literally. It's just gonna help you anyways. You know, if you try, be careful, you know, because this is gonna be part of your life forever. That's what I trust 100%.